Hello, gardening friends. I'm Caitlin Miller, and I'm from Miller Flowers here in Greenville, Ohio. We are a greenhouse, garden center, and florist. So today, for my five minutes or less, I'm going to be chatting about Thanksgiving centerpieces. Uh, while we're talking about Thanksgiving here, behind me I have Christmas, two holidays in one. But hey, it's, we're going to be talking about centerpieces and how to take care of them and how to um, keep your flowers to last longer um, in an arrangement. So let's chat about it. Received a centerpiece looking very beautiful like this one right here. Hopefully it was from us. Uh, most of your centerpieces that come to you with a candle in the middle, um, they are created with something called floral foam. And I'm gonna show you what the floral foam looks like. This is floral foam here. Um, sometimes too, your, um, vase, um, your centerpieces can arrive in a vase. Um, with water. That's actually um, best, the best thing for flowers, but foam also works as well. And I'm going to tell you how to take care of those flowers in floral foam, since that's what we're going to be using. You can't really put a candle in the middle of a vase of water. Let's get started in making an arrangement and just show you kind of how we do that. I start out with a container, this little wooden, cute wooden box. And then I put my floral foam in the center of the container. It does have a plastic liner in the center to keep off from all the water from going out. I have my candle and that's going in the center of my foam. I have my skewers and then they're gonna go um, around my candle to hold my candle in place. Grid tape and clippers are some um, a florist's best friends. We're gonna be using that as well in our centerpiece. Hold everything together. these lovely yellow roses that I'm going to use in this arrangement. Next up I have these lovely mums that I'm going to use in the arrangement as well. What is fall without mums? Mums make fall. A little bit of yarrow. Yarrow also dries really well so yarrow is um, something that you don't have to pull out of your arrangement. You can actually leave it, leave it in there and it will dry. And we're gonna use is these red carnations. Sometimes red carnations or any carnations get a bad rep. I'm here to tell you that all flowers are created equally beautiful. Next up, I have this lovely Solidago. Next up is my greens, so I'm going to add in my greens into my arrangement, kind of to give it the length. This is leather leaf. Um, leather leaf is a fern. Um, other, again, leather leaf like the carnations, they can get that bad rep um, because they're maybe overused in the florist world. I just want to say again, greens. Um, they are all created equal. They all have equal value, um, and they are well. When it comes to money value. This is a cheaper green um, because it's so prolific. So there's so much of um, the leather leaf in the world. But leather leaf is a fern. And what was a cool story about the leather leaf, we were up in Michigan walking through the woods and this was growing wild in the woods. Um, so that was super fun to see as a plant geek like myself to see that growing throughout the woods. I just wanted to take my shears and start cutting it and bringing it back to use. Um, but this is leather leaf and this is what I'll be using in this arrangement. this gorgeous magnolia leaf. So magnolia leaf grows on a tree. Um, it's not actually growing in our zone because we are a zone five, so it is colder. Um, but I believe they can grow magnolia trees in like warmer zones here in Ohio. So if you're in a zone six or above, I believe you can grow a magnolia in your yard. So magnolia is gorgeous. We love using it during um, the winter season and we just got a bunch in for our winter wreaths. And so I'm gonna be using it in this Thanksgiving centerpiece. a little bit of ruscus. So ruscus is another gorgeous um, green that we love using for a lot of our weddings out here and a lot of our events and in and all just bouquets in general. Um, ruscus is a favorite because it lasts so long. The next up is this beautiful silver dollar um, eucalyptus. not least I have some beautiful fall leaves. I'm going to add that into my centerpiece as well. So that my friends is a fall centerpiece. 
and that is how we create it and that goes on your dining room table or wherever else you choose to put it. You can also order the centerpiece without the candle and just um, totally flowers as well. Um, so all of our can um, the candle thank um, Thanksgiving centerpieces are on our website under thankful centerpieces. So you can place your orders for them on our website um, to send to a loved one if you're not go um, able to make it there for um, the Thanksgiving celebration. Um, or if you want to use it as a hostess gift, these are the perfect gift idea to take um, someone, a hostess, um, for the holiday season. So taking care of these arrangements, I would highly recommend watering it every other day. So I would take a cup of water or even a water bottle, pour it on directly onto the foam. And you can actually take it when you do water and stick it on a little bit of paper towel and let it sit there um, as you take your water and pour it on the foam just to wet it down. So this should last about 10 days in your house. And then once the flowers start going, you can actually pull out those blooms and you can even add in some winter greens into your arrangement um, and some berries and pine cones and you have a Christmas centerpiece after that. So that was my five minutes and definitely a little bit more. Um, I'm Caitlin Miller from out here at Miller Flowers and it has been a pleasure. So until next time. So you all have a wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving and a safe one too. We hope to see you out here at the holiday seasons.